This is John Lochran Viewed Your Profile. This episode's guest is Stephanie Kennedy Harris, Chief Commercial Officer of Peer Communications from the PSL Group. Hi, everybody. In case you've forgotten who I am, I'm John, and I host apparently a biannual show for the AMM called John Lochran Viewed Your Profile. It's not supposed to be biannual, and uh, hopefully it won't be moving forward. Despite it being now March, I'm still talking New Year's resolutions, and one of mine is try to do these things more frequently in 2023. 2023? Ain't that crazy to say? I can't believe it's already March, but March is typically my favorite month of the year. We got spring training, St. Paddy's Day, March Madness, my birthday's in March. Lots to be happy about. But let's start this episode off with things that I'm not happy about. A little Festivus-esque airing of the grievances, if you will. I got a lot of problems with you people. <laughs> now, you're going to hear about it. Not so much grievances with all of you, but just life. As a proud Philadelphian, the past few months have come with some disappointments. Uh, three of our teams have made it to the championship, only to come up short. That Super Bowl was a particularly tough one. Uh, maybe the greatest Super Bowl ever, they say. Decided on a pretty controversial holding call at the end. But what can you do? Hopefully March will bring the luck of the Irish. Um, not a great start, though, so far. Uh, I wanted to wear my green long sleeve hoodie for this episode, but the other night I dropped a red M&M from my McFlurry on it, and it's still in the laundry. Oh, well. What else has happened since we last did this? Um, I attempted to do dry January this year. That didn't last very long. Uh, three days, I think. I didn't care much for it. Uh, January had started off with a good trip for me and my family to Florida, which ended with a canceled flight home and a 17-hour car ride getting back. Uh, note to self, when an airline is super cheap and convenient, it's usually too good to be true. Like when they offer one flight a day and it gets canceled and the next they can do for you is get you home five days later. So you decide to rent a car and cannonball run it home to try to make it in time for the NFC Championship game, which you just barely made. Uh... Then February flew by. Uh, I had a relatively unromantic Valentine's Day, thanks to the fact that my kids had soccer and dance that night. Um, did get to have a quick salad with my wife. That was nice. Um, trying to eat more salads this year in my quest to lose 20 pounds or so. So far, so good. Uh, I've lost one. Um, there was also a sweetheart dance at my girl's school. Those are always my favorite. Uh, I get to get dressed up, take pictures, arrive at the event, uh, then get ditched uh, by my daughters and get to talk to other dads for three hours who are wondering, when is this thing going to be over and why on earth don't they have a bar? But 2023 has actually started off pretty interesting work-wise for me. My company announced some major news to us, which we just recently rolled out to the public. The beauty of having your own stupid show is that uh, I get to choose the guests. And I thought, what better way to elaborate on this news than having on one of my colleagues to talk about it? She's my guest, Stephanie Kennedy Harris, Chief Commercial Officer, Peer Communications of the PSL Group. Hey, Steph, how you doing? Good, how are you doing? I'm good, I'm good. This is uh, first one of these I've done in a while, so uh, the audience should be chomping at the bit to, uh, <laughs> to, to watch this, I hope. Um, where are you located right now? Are you in New York? No, I am in uh, Connecticut. Living Connecticut, there. okay. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Very close to the city, but, you know, in Connecticut. Very cool. Very cool. I have so many questions. I know, uh, you know, we've worked together in some manner for a couple of years now, but uh, really, this is a great opportunity to kind of dig deeper and, and get to know a little bit more about you. Um, so the people that watch this are familiar with the format of me viewing your profile, asking you questions. But before we get into that, before we get into the whole Steph Kennedy Harris story, um, there is something that I wanted to talk to you about up front and, and ask you some questions. So I understand 
because we work together, <laughs> that there's been some big news recently announced from uh, PSL Group and particularly Peer Direct. Uh, do you care to share that with the audience? Yes, I would love to. We're very, very excited, actually. Um, so we have a dip four different promotional groups that um, fall under the PSL umbrella, um, New Metis, Peer Direct, Patient Direct, and DG Connect. And we are very excited to say that we have all merged together, integrated all the different offerings and companies, and now we are one company called the New Peer Direct. So we um, are very, very excited about what, what this has to offer our clients and um, just all merging together to be one company. Okay. Well, I'm excited as well. I don't have much of a choice, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> no, I'm extremely excited. Uh, it's, it's been a couple months now that we've discussed internally and had our big sales meeting and gone over all the exciting stuff. But for everybody else, I know the why. But why the hell did we decide to do this? It's a very good question. And I think um, it's really for, for our clients. Um, we've been working in the field with you know the pharma clients, the media clients. And one thing that we hear over and over is, can we just have one point of contact? We know that you're all part of the PSL group. We love your offerings. But a lot of people were doing more of an enterprise strategy where they were working with all the different offerings that we have but they would have four different individuals they'd have to work with. Um, so from a um, efficiency standpoint, that was one reason. But the most important reason is when we started looking at um, what it was doing for the physician behavior, we realized that when you combine third-party KOL delivered content with branded you know, quick to market solutions um, for the time starved physician, that ROIs double and triple. So we wanted to combine for our clients a real behavioral change for the physicians. So give them deep education with all the, those quick branded hits of information. So it's in the long run, we're changing physician behavior. You have better outcomes. You have, um, you know, just better opportunities for the brand to, to make a real impact with the physicians. That's awesome. I can tell you, you know, as one of the consultants that is now part of the new Peer Direct, I'm super excited about, you know, I had at DG Connect, we had our one piece of the pie that, you know, tied in nicely to the other stuff. So, you know, I'm excited about all the big fancy words we're talking about internally, like putting together a whole curricula for our clients and really, you know, being able to help change that physician behavior. So, um, so that's awesome. That's, that's exciting. Um, I'd have to say so far, so good. Uh, this is going to go out in early March and most people don't know, but we have a little internal document that keeps track of numbers and stuff. And you didn't know I was going to bring this up, but, uh, so far, so good for you. You are somehow up 10,000% in sales <laughs> from where you were this time last year. So <laughs> probably a total coincidence. And <laughs> it's working. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty crazy. So that's, that's amazing. I've never seen a number that <laughs> astronomical in terms of where somebody was last year. Uh, that, that's great. Congratulations. And uh, yeah, like I said, I'm excited. Um, and I know all of our colleagues, our other reps or consultants, as we call them, are super excited and uh, sky's the limit for the future. And uh, I'm we're all excited. There's not there's not one product that we're dropping. So anything that our clients were buying from us, it's there. It's all still there. Um, it's just like I said, all consolidated under, under one roof and we, we can be more strategic in our um, you know, shared decision making of what's best for the brand. Um, and I just, I think it's, it's fantastic. And I hope everyone's going to be as excited as we are. Yeah. So smart decision coming on this show. This is a multimedia juggernaut that's going to reach dozens of people with this announcement. Um, are there any other plans for Peer Direct to kind of come out guns ablaze? And I know we've been announcing it um, you know, individually, but any other promotional plans for, for Peer Direct to announce this to the world? 
Definitely. We have some really fun stuff um, planned. So the first thing is just a complete PR campaign. We're going to be in First Word and um, some of the other magazines, media magazines that people, our clients and everything read. Um, but most important, we are hosting a happy hour for all of our clients, for the individual pharma companies, for the media agencies. Um, we really want to celebrate. We're excited about this. We want to tell you about it. We want you to come in and celebrate with us. So be looking for your um, happy hour invitation um, because we really uh, want to celebrate with you. All right. Well, you, you had me at happy hour. So, you know, <laughs> this is where, you know, it's part of the excitement of the whole thing. I know uh, <laughs> all of my my peers at Peer Direct are happy for the happy, happy hours. hours as well. So, um, very cool. Very cool. Okay. So, I've abused my power here way too much. Um, <laughs> I've already shamelessly plugged our company, but it's exciting and I want to get the word out. Uh, but let's let's talk about you. Let's talk about staff um, from the beginning ish, not the not birth, but um, <laughs> beginning of your, I guess, you know, we're talking about education and behavior changing. So let's get some education about you. Um, and speaking of your education, you know, I, I go on people's LinkedIn profile and kind of do my homework. You have one of the cooler where I went to college listings. Um, you want to tell everybody where you went for your undergrad and your master's? So um, I went to LSU. I'm an LSU Tiger uh, for my undergrad. And I went to UCLA for my uh, master's degree. That's so cool. So LSU, big SEC school, UCLA, PAC, whatever they are now, 12. I don't know what they were at the time. Mm -hmm. Um, any cool stories, any like run-ins with big athletes we might've known or. So we have a vast history with, uh, some of the best athletes in the world. I think, um, I don't know if people know this, but Pistol Pete went to LSU, Shaquille O'Neal, Joe Burrow, Leonard yeah. Fournette. Um, I think some of the greats. Um, it was really fun. I wasn't in school. I was already out of school when Shaq was there. Um, but going back and seeing him play was absolutely amazing. So, and then of course with the Super Bowl, Joe Burrow, and yeah. we've had some really good athletes. And um, you know, if you have ever been to Baton Rouge, Death Valley is one of the best stadiums you can ever go to. I'm a big, you know, LSU fan. Um, so it's just it's a great place. And then of course UCLA is completely different. Um, but you know, there's, um, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar used to go there. Yeah. Um, Jackie Robinson. Yeah. Jackie Joyner Kersey and I were Arthur Ashe. So Ashe Stadium. Bill Walton. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of great athletes that came out of those places. For my Philadelphia people, uh, Chase Utley, I believe yep. is a UCLA Bruin. Very cool. I get, so follow up question about Death Valley and the SEC we have a mutual friend, um, Steve Cullinan, who we both worked with for years, who is probably the biggest college football fan I know, and he's a proud Georgia Bulldog, and I know you guys are friends. How did that work in terms of the SEC rivalry? Yeah, you know, I probably shouldn't say this for all of you who went somewhere else, but I don't have a problem with anyone but Bama. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, took, I told my son he could go anywhere to college except Alabama. Nice, nice. <laughs> Joking, but maybe not really. But yeah, no, I could see how they'd be, you know, any generation, the Bear Bryant generation, the Nick Saban era. <laughs> I know. Um, he went to Bama. Jesus, you know, what a great coach. So Yeah. Yeah. Well, he sucked in the NFL, but anyway. <laughs> yeah. Um, so let me ask you. Um, so you went to school in Louisiana, then you went to UCLA post-grad. Now you live in Connecticut. Where exactly are you from? I'm from New Orleans. New Orleans. Oh. Nice. Can't get into much trouble there, right? Oh, God. <laughs> I think that's why I'm in charge of all the happy hours. Because nice. I'm from New Orleans. So, no, it's it's a very fun place to grow up, you know. I don't know how I made it, but, um, you know, it's easy to get in a lot of trouble there, but it's a, yeah. it's, it's a lot of fun and everybody's just so nice there, you know? 
Yeah, I've had uh, over the years of my career, fortunately, some cool conferences were in New Orleans and I <laughs> got to experience a thing or two. Um, I have one of my favorite pictures, uh, me and a, a colleague at the time who I'm still good friends with walking down Bourbon Street and we went into a place and they sold something called huge ass beers. <laughs> and they were basically huge ass beers. They were like... <laughs> 40s but in a cup it was uh it was pretty cool but uh that's, that's awesome. awesome that's awesome um so what what was your major in college um so i had a double major of biology pre-med and i minored in physics holy crap wow so no wonder you're the chief commercial officer <laughs> of your communications uh i was a communications major I uh, <laughs> took acting classes and well, uh, I can tell yeah, that's why you're so good at this. Oh, thank you, thank you. But um, it's a nice blend of the science and you know yeah, we definitely. can correlate all the peer direct stuff. Um, so how did you get started in this industry? So I was in medical school for a couple of years, and um, unfortunately had a little bout with cancer when I was very young. Um, well, you know, I was in school, but um, dropped out of medical school for a little while and Johnson and Johnson offered me a position and I decided not to go back to medical school. And then shortly after that, I went to work for Allergan and was with them for many, many, many years um, and just really just just found that this was the place. I didn't want to go back to medical school and I felt like I just liked the marketing and the sales and, and just it was I kind of found my place. Yeah. Wow. That's awesome. Um, I saw the the stint with Allergan, which was, like you said, a, a pretty long uh, piece of time. Um, then it looks like, I don't know if it was immediately after or somewhere after, but you spent five years at the New York Times. Mm -hmm. um, what did you do there and how was that experience? It was really, it was, it was a good experience. So um, they brought me in as managing director of healthcare and on the business side. Um, and then very shortly, they gave me packaged goods and alcohol and um, fashion jewelry. And so I ended up with this big portfolio of products um, and really enjoyed it for a while. I created a bunch of special sections um, from cause to cure, from the real way to the runway, um, great places to learn. But then I felt like I was so getting so far away from healthcare. Um, and had an opportunity to uh, go work for an e-detail company. And I did that for a little while. A friend of mine owned the company. And then um, just kept getting recruited by uh, Peer Direct. And finally, um, they offered me a position to be the business unit president for Peer Direct. Um, and I just heard so many great things about the company. And I thought maybe it was time for me to um, just kind of start a new adventure. And I've been doing that for 15 years now. So. Wow. Well, you, you must have gotten a copy of these questions in advance because my next two questions were, how'd you end up with Peer Direct? And, um, and I noticed that you, you have been with Peer Direct and the PSL group for, for almost 15 years, mm -hmm. like you said, um, which is a hell of a run. And that's one of the things that I love about this company is that, you know, you do have a lot of PSL lifers. Um, what do you like about the company and what's kept you here for all that time? You know what? There's so many reasons. And I just think this is, I've never been happier. You know, sometimes, um, you hear people say they get the Sunday blues. I honestly have not had the Sunday blues one time in 15 years working here. Um, I've been fortunate enough to, um, help start six uh, different groups with this company, um, Numetis, DG Connect, um, started Peer Direct Global, started Peer Science Group, started Patient Direct. Um, and I think that's what keeps me here is the excitement of continuing to grow and, and start new businesses. But, you know, what's great about this company is one single owner, no venture capital, we don't report to Wall Street. So the decisions we make are really long-term decisions on what's best for the company and not because we have to report numbers to Wall Street. Um, so we stick with our core values. And I think what we do, we do really, really well. And it's just a place where um, I love my coworkers. We really all, um, we all respect each other. We, we promote from within and um, 
I don't know. It just feels like a really great place to work with a, a tremendous amount of opportunity um, that keeps coming. So, I mean, that's some of the people that are big time leaders within our team started, you know, over 10 years ago as account directors. And to your right. point of promoting from within, I mean, we've got group presidents and executive presidents that, uh, you know, started in one role and have really become prominent and helped grow the company. So, uh, so it's exciting for a youngish boy from Philadelphia to be a part of uh, such a company. And I've, I've been here now for five and a half years and it's flown by and I never get those Sunday blues either. Um, you know, it's been interesting the last couple of years with the pandemic, but we've, right. you know, we're from all over the place and we've been programmed to, kind of work from home and um you know there's never a dull moment it's it's you know always evolving and while i loved my little dg connect team um definitely excited about what the future brings um so master of segues i am as always uh we talk about the evolution of pure direct um you gave a lot of the background on it what exactly is your role in the new world order, if you will. So we kind of separated, well, we're one company, but we were looking at things a little bit differently. So we're looking at more of the overall strategy of the company and the, you know, top 20, 30 accounts and how we can grow those accounts and then the individual performance. So I'm overseeing um, all of the enterprise strategy for uh, the top 30 pharma companies. Very cool. Very cool. So it was Great things ahead for Peer Direct, for for you, for me, for everybody. Uh, we're all super excited. Um, yeah, I do want to say we've got the most incredible leadership um, between, you know, Ling LeBlanc, Christian Stockett, Kim Neckbauer. Um, you know, so we have Sunny and Dennis and Tara. We, have, we really do have the most amazing leadership team that I think together um, will really be unstoppable and we'll be able to really give our, our clients what they're looking for. So I did, I definitely wanted to say I'm the partnership that we have um, running this company is um, something I'm really looking forward to. Yeah. Amen to that. Now it's a, it's a great team and, you know, I'll give a, a plug to Sunny. Uh, I've been working with mm -hmm. her for a couple months now and she's so much fun and everybody <laughs> loves her. Really and, I mean, she's yeah. just brilliant, you know? Yeah. But say, but you know, across the board, Kim, Tara, Dennis, everybody that you named, Ling, uh, Kristen, everybody's been fantastic. And uh, I don't want this to come off as ass kissy, but uh, <laughs> I love them all. Um, uh, all Thank right. You. So, so enough talking about PSL and how great it is and how fantastic Pure Direct is. Let's get some personal questions. This is a segment that I do whenever I feel like it because I run this and I can do whatever I want. <laughs> okay. A little rapid fire question. Okay. Um, all right. So what's your favorite vacation destination? Anywhere I can play golf. Anywhere you can play golf. Okay. We're going to talk about golf in a second. What's your favorite movie? Um, if I want to laugh, 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 Bridesmaids. If I want my all-time favorite, Breakfast at Tiffany's. Oh, that's a very classy answer. I feel like this is on the show Friends when they ask Jennifer Aniston, what's your favorite movie? And she says, like dangerous liaisons, but it's really weekend at Bernie's. So. <laughs> no, I no, I love Audrey Hepburn. So yeah, all right, we'll stick with that then. Um, all right, so you said you love Audrey Hepburn. Favorite artist could be singer, actor, painter, any kind of. I know artist. I'm giving wide ranges, but any of the uh, old jazz, like Etta James, John Coltrane. Um, you're from you're from New Orleans. I'm from so. New Orleans so. All right, that makes sense. All right, uh, we got happy hours coming up, and I'll probably go up to the bar and grab you something at some point. What's your favorite drink? Um, vodka soda cranberry. <laughs> vodka soda cranberry. Very <laughs> good. <Nice. That's> <laughs> very good. Very good. Um, all right, so you mentioned golf, and we at our internal team big meeting that was just in West Palm, we did five fun little facts about each other to kind of, you know, everybody could integrate and get to know each other. Um, you don't just play golf. You sound like you're pretty good at it. 
Um, what did did you just win something that was? I did. Uh, I um I won our club championship last wow. year. So. <clears throat> Is that it, like it was a, a good day? I think. <laughs> is, it, is that like a one day tournament that? So you qualify with the lowest score, and then you the final um, is match play. Match play. Okay, I know some stuff about golf. When you say match play, how's that work? Is that like you go? Oh, is it like a, like you play somebody in the head? So finally, when you get the two finalists, uh -huh. um, you have to you know you on the first hole. It doesn't matter if you shoot par and someone shoots a 10, you just win. You win that hole. Oh, okay. So it's, so it's like hole. up one, down one. Oh, so you won that way. So it's, so I was going to ask, what did you shoot? But, you know, what yeah, are I you? Qualified, I shot a um, 78 to qualify. Holy crap. Um, and then match play is just, you know, match play. So I'm usually at 78 at about the 10th hole. But I'm also usually at. <laughs> Listen, I can shoot the nineties too some days. So uh, I'm also I think usually I, I'm also I, usually at about yeah. my seventh beer by the tenth hole. So uh, that could be affecting my play. Um, I think the problem is this: people see my name on the board as a winner, and they play with me, and they go, "You won! You're horrible!" No, wow. I try to go up and down. You know. Well, you gotta hustle them. I mean, do you ever? <laughs> I, I don't know if gambling on the course is acceptable. That's. Uh, Oh yeah. <laughs> I only I base everything off of Caddyshack. So I know that uh, <laughs> I love that show. <laughs> that's a great movie. Um all right. Well, this has flown by. Um, you know, I like to keep these things relatively short so that people watch uh as much as they can. But um last question, uh anything else that the people should know about you and what does the future hold? I like to get deep with my uh <laughs> I'm really I'm really excited about the future. I think um I just think everything is going, you know, pandemic I feel like is behind us. I feel like we have a lot um, of great things ahead of us. Um we hope our partnerships will be stronger than ever and um you know, there's always opportunity at Peer Direct if you want to join us. So give me a call. Um but I'm really looking forward to it and um looking forward to meeting everybody at happy hour, so yeah, yeah, definitely looking forward to the happy hours for sure. Um, it's going to be a fun couple months and uh, a great year. So thank you so much for doing this with me. And um, I will see you soon. You're the best. Thank you so much. Uh, it's been great talking to you. Tell everybody else in the company that. You got it. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye. Well, that's our episode. Till next time. Be good. Bye.